Still waiting for a big smile out of you. You're up 2-0. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy? Or? Just there to be happy about it. You're up 2-0. Job's not finished. Job finished? Ricky I don't think so. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Two, two, Chris Blazing Takes. Could have been anywhere in the world. But you here with me. But you here with me. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So without further ado, without further ado, let's get right into it. Right into it. Yo, yo, Finn World, what's up? It's Rick Blaze. Another episode of Rick's Blazing Takes. It's Friday. Freaky Friday. Freestyle Friday. Free Game Friday. Whatever Friday you want to call it, it's Friday. And I was just thinking, man, this uh, we're coming upon July. And um here in Texas, it's hot. I mean, it's hot, hot. And, you know, I was talking to Yales the other day, and we were just talking. You know, when we was kids, we used to go out and we would play most, at least I would play most of the day outside. Um, and it was hot outside then, but, man, it's 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 something. It's something else going on out here in these streets. It, this weather out here is just, um, it's just depressing. It's the kind of weather you go outside and you come back in and you, you just mad at everybody and everything that you see. Um, this this weather. So I was thinking about um, summer times, how we used to, the stuff we used to do outside and keep busy, and how you know uh, it's changed a little bit or a lot bit from when we were kids until the kids uh, are now. But it's hot. Let me just start there. If I could take off skin, I would. It is so hot here in Houston, Texas, and the humidity makes it worse. Um, so yeah, I just got to get that out the way before I go any further with this episode. All right. Now that I got that out the way, um, speaking of summertime, the summertime is a special time for boys in general, especially in sports. A lot of the summer is where you, uh, refine your skill set, or if you're a young person, this might be the first time you introduce to a certain sport maybe it's baseball maybe it's football maybe it's basketball tennis soccer or what have you sometimes a special time of year uh for young men uh to uh kind of get free from school and kind of do their own thing get their own ho- hobby but it's the best time for a young man to refine their sport their respective sport or to pick up a new sport um uh, and just find out what they like and if you're not into any of that, it's usually the time for people to get in trouble. I'm looking at some, I'm thinking about some of the ghetto Olympic sports we used to do in the summertime um, to keep us occupied doing silly stuff. I had a friend one time who, him and his buddies, they had they lived in homes. Uh, they were really close to each other, uh, so it wasn't much of a yard, and they would jump from roof to roof to roof. I mean, how stupid is that? But as kids, we saw this entertainment. I guess they thought it was track stars, but they would just race. They would literally jump from roof of the house to the next roof of the house to the next roof of the house. That was how they got down. That was what they did to entertain. So uh, me and my friends, we did silly stuff too. One of the things we used to do that I love, we used to cut backflips a lot. Um, do backflips and we used to put, you know, you used to put your, your foot, and your um your friend's hand and then on the count of three they would kind of lift you up to get you more elevation on your flips yeah we did that and then once that wasn't enough we would double down and jump off of things flip off of stairs or porches or tailgate of somebody's truck um yeah so summertime i guess i'll say all that to say find something constructive to do in the summertime because we're getting a lot of mission in the summertime one of the stupidest things i've done uh, in the summertime was it was in that backflip era. Um, my parents would go, and I've, if I told the story before, I apologize. My parents would go um, in and out of having cable when I was young. And sometimes, some months we would have it, some months we wouldn't have it. So anyway, this happened to be a month or a series of months where we didn't have cable, so I didn't get all the premium movies. Uh, my favorite movie as a kid was The Karate Kid, the original Karate Kid. And so, um, one day I'm watching TV and I get this, the commercial comes on and said, Karate Kid's coming on next. And my silly self gets so excited. 
Um, this is when TVs used to be on TV stands. Now everybody's TV is on their wall. Uh, but I got so excited that I jumped on top of the TV, which is sitting on top of a TV stand, and I did a backflip off of the TV. The TV stand rocked the TV, and the TV fell on my arm. Now, good news and bad news. The good news is the backflip was successful. I did land on my feet. The bad news is the TV landed on my arm. Broke my arm immediately. I'm probably like third grade when this happens. Um, so, yeah. And I just remember sitting in the hospital, arm broke, and I asked my mom. She's, you know, she's in a state of shock. My dad's there. But I look over to my mom, and I remember asking her one very important question after that happened. I said, Mom, did the Karate Kid movie go off or not? More of the story, kids. Don't flip off TVs. So let me hear about it in the chat. What's one thing you did silly uh, or memorable one summer? Uh, this summer at Banner Camp or whatever the case may be. Put it in the group chat. Put it in Discord. Let's talk about it. Y'all have a good weekend. Peace. Oh, mom. Boys will be boys. Yeah.